Okay, um... It's a line printer 5 with a hole in it. Well, tisk tisk. There shouldn't be that much empty space in the box. However, I think this was already cracked. Boy, howdy, that's a big, heavy printer. Alright. It is a dot matrix printer. I guess I don't know why I thought it was a daisy wheel. Just because it's freaking huge. Ugh. And weighs a ton. Oh, and it's loose. But like I say, I think this printer was already in this shape before it was put in the box. Because it had the crack here, but now it's just got a hole. Oops. And a printer ribbon. Oops, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and unplug that. It doesn't need to be attached. Alright, this is one of these printers that it snaps on the front and then there's screws in the back that hold it together. Something was rolling around in here when I was moving it. It's probably this piece here that's missing. Wow. And that doesn't look... That would be your paper switch there, and it's not supposed to come all the way out. So if the so when you turn the printer on, I think this is the one she was talking about that uh, made a grinding noise, didn't act like it was working right. And I can see that that switch is bent. If this print head were to come over here and do a self test, it would hit that. I think. Oh no, it misses it. Well, I don't know. I do know. But there's all kinds of, hmm, I don't know, white powdery stuff, deep fingers. This is rubber. And it's good and rusty inside, look at that. <laughs> well, this whole thing is rubber. Oh, and the ribbon's not working right. So you turn that and it's not pulling the... Let's see if we can get that out of there. Yep. Yeah. The, uh, the ribbon, surprisingly, is no good. Let's plug it in and see if it blows up. I know, I should probably open up the box to figure out what the heck was rolling around in there, but I don't know. Let's, oh. oh, heck, let's plug it in over here. Okay, it has power. Ooh. Yeah, where's the power switch? Ah, oh, there it is. Here we go. Well, holy crap. It says alert. That's probably because there's no paper. Well... Turn it back on. Wow. 
That sucker's loud. Let's see if I can't find some paper. It's got a test button here. Offline, online. And it's alerting me because... Probably because there's no paper. There we go. That just scares the crap out of me. <laughs> see if self-test does anything. Let's see. Line feed? Line feed's not working. Let's do offline line feed. Oop, it says alert. Ooh. There we go. It just tried to print. I bet the print head is so filthy. Let's hit the reset. It keeps getting an alert. It's probably going too far and hitting the stops. There's probably a switch somewhere. It's dirty. And it it's not telling the print head that it has to stop before it gets to the end of the uh, before it gets to the end of the rail. Hmm. Oh, that says lock. Of course, it might be complaining because the ink cartridge isn't in there. Ooh, it won't. Yeah. Well, it's not going to do anything. But. Ooh, you need oil. <laughs> yeah, and then it hit the stop. I'm just hitting test with it offline and it's at first the first time I did it it acted like the print head wasn't even doing the, the pins weren't coming out but it actually sounds correct now yeah poor thing <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, it's got gunky stuff on the bottom. Oh, that's what's doing it. It's actually trying to work, so <laughs> is in sorry shape this poor thing is in. We still have the parts that go with it, the cover and all. Anyway, I'm gonna have to take my word for it. The cover goes over this and then this. like that. And it seems like, let's get it, well you can hear that power supply in there making the big heavy power supply in there. Let's turn it around and look at the back. Alright, how about that sucker it weighs about 50 pounds. Oh, it's got a Centronics parallel port. It does not have... There's the... The paper goes in the bottom of the printer. You cannot feed the paper into the top. It has to come in the bottom. Which is really, really weird. 
But anyway, this does not have the color computer or the TRS-80 Model 1 uh, printer port, the little serial port. Let's see, focus. There we go. Catalog number 26, 1165. That'll be serial number 1W15794. TR Sadie Line Printer 5. <laughs> Manufactured in Japan. Sheesh. <laughs> ah, ah, here. No user service, serviceable parts inside this unit or inside this unit. Unit should be taken to a Radio Shack service center for service. I want to walk into Radio Shack right now and say, you guys need to service this. <laughs> Watch the look on their faces. <laughs> but I should probably take these screws off the back and open this case up and see what's just like the the Model 2 itself. And there's something rolling around in there and then then put this case back together the way it's supposed to be. All right. I'll go ahead and unplug it. This may actually work again. It needs uh needs oil real bad. There's it's like sludge or something has dripped on top of this rail and dripped down the side and it's all on the bottom. And uh it's real gunky. It'll definitely need a new ribbon. It'd be interesting to see if I can actually still buy a ribbon cartridge for this. Probably can. You'd be surprised what you can find on the internet these days. And the buttons seem to be... They seem to work, but they, they also act like they, they could use a cleaning. Let's...